Okay, last time we were recording? Yeah. We had y equals 1 plus x, and we also had y equals minus 1 plus x last time. I'm going to plot something else. I'm going to say y equals 1 plus a half x. And we'll sort of gradually, gradually work up to the full case. Okay, so I'll draw my x and y axes on there, x and y. Put some tick marks on it here. Tick marks there. Don't need to be super accurate. And I'm going to have x and y pairs. So 0, 1, 2, 3. And then from this formula here, this is the line I'm going to going to draw, y equals 1 plus a half x. Well, that's easy. That's just 1, because it's 1 plus half of nothing, which is just 1. What's this one? That's 1.5, I guess, or 1 and a half, because it's 1 plus a half of 1. When x equals 1, we put that in there, and we get 1 plus a half of 1. 2, half of 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and so on x equals 3 corresponds to y equals 2.5. So we've got enough points there to, 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 to make a stab at least at drawing the, drawing the uh, line. There's one point. That's x equals 0, y equals 1. That's this one here. 1, 1 and a half, which is there. 2, 2, which is do, 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 there. 3, 2 and a half is there, and so on. And now I can link them all up with a red with a red line. There we go. And I can also come by here as well, just to draw that line in there. It's not super neat, but there you go. Now one thing that's quite interesting here is that point there. That is the point y equals zero. Because when this line, oops, when this line intersects that axis there, that means that y equals zero, because we've moved zero vertical distance from the x-axis. So, what I'm saying there is that y equals one plus a half x, and we're also specifying that y equals zero. So one plus a half x equals zero, and it's pretty clear to see what's going on. If we subtract one from both sides, we get a half x equals minus 1, because this 1, is we've subtracted that. So that says that x equals minus a half. Uh, sorry. That says that x equals minus 1 divided by a half, which equals 2. I haven't done the fractions, uh, fractions screencast yet, but I'll get around to that eventually. Uh, sorry, that's minus 2, not 2. And that looks about right. There you go. There's minus 1, there's minus 2. So we're, we're beginning to see that when, when, when you present data like that, then you can, um, or when you present the equations of your line like that, you can, um, you can begin to see where it intersects the different axes. Of course, where it intersects this axis here is a little bit easier, because that's just this line here is x equals 0. So you just plug x equals 0, and you get y equals 1, which is that distance there. So that's called the intercept. because it's where it intercepts the y-axis, and it's equal to 1 there. Okay, I'll stop there.